Welcome back. We are continuing our week of Australian artists, and today we are listening to Wolf Winters. This particular singer was actually recommended to me by one of our patrons. Y'all know I love Disturb's cover of The Sound of Silence. From my understanding, this is a similar cover. So I haven't heard this singer before, but I'm very excited to hear his voice and see what he does with it. So here we go. Hello, darkness, my old friend. That is pretty damn low. A vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping Cool sound And the vision Guys digging it big time You can't turn that on I know this is a very short clip. I'm sure I'm going to have to like find more. <laughs> but what struck me first and foremost was the richness, like the depth that he has in his tone. Um, you can hear a little bit of that vocal fry creeping in. So I'm like, I don't know if he does like screaming or a lot of growling or what, but um, I'm just going to go back. We're going to we're going to listen to this from the beginning. I like, uh, I love his approach. I've mentioned this before when you're singing super low. Yes, if you've got the gas in the tank and you want to push it, go for it. But when you're singing low, you still need your chords to vibrate. So when you kind of relax a little bit, it allows your chords to do that. And so the fact that he just really gently, really warmly started this whole line it, I feel like it just created that extra sort of broadness in his sound as opposed to really like forcing it. And it was a great choice. So we're going to listen again. Hello, darkness, my old friend. That is pretty damn low. With you again. Because a vision softly Right here, this line was the one that kind of stunned me with um, his placement. You can kind of hear how it went from a very like open-throated sound to a little bit... Mm, let me hear it again. Was a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping you can hear, I mean, I don't like to use the term like singing in the mask. I... I don't know why it might maybe it's just a personal preference i understand it and therefore that's why i occasionally use it um in this case i do feel like it's kind of like singing in the mask because it's not like full on um like nasal resonance i feel like it's got a little bit more placement like in his cheeks um but yes regardless he brought that sound from like this really full like open pharynx placement to just like a little bit more forward and we're getting like that brightness that helps to balance it and it, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna try and not interrupt this time. Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping Cool sound. And the vision Guys digging it big time. You can't turn that on.
um sorry I, I have not seen this episode of the voice but um i did um look at some of the comments people were like guy made the right choice i see now because i think he must have been out of like spots on his team and was like not having it he was like this man has to be on this show um i was not anticipating um sort of the progression into those high notes like how his tone changed so i'm gonna go back to that uh, let me go a little bit earlier than that ah even further i'm sorry okay here we go Silence. that right there that tone i'm already like it's just kind of it's not a traditional bass tone but it's got that like sort of humming effect that you get um, when you hear like a true bass. And so I'm hearing this and then to hear how much added texture comes in in these high notes, I think that's what surprised me most. So listen to, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back again. Listen to the vibrato at the ends of these phrases. Um. Also, so many things. His jaw position. It's not jutting forward. It's so relaxed. You got to It's a great angle too. That. I don't. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I've, I haven't been exposed to a ton of metal yet, okay? I'm slowly getting there. But this is probably, hold on, we're gonna hear this a million more times. I have never heard anyone yet, like, make that sound. Like in, in terms of, it almost sounds like an echo, um, but it's like you can hear literally both like true chord and false chord adduction. And so however he's doing it, it's incredible because it's almost giving you like this sort of like reverb effect. Oh, excuse me. I'm so, I just want to hear this a million times. I did see, I did see his tongue sort of like creep back just a tiny bit. So I'm wondering if like the contact of like the root of his tongue with either like I don't know if it would be like his soft palate in this case, or just like if it's touching something else in the back of his um, throat is helping to create this sound in addition to what he's already doing. It's just so unique. Last one, I promise. That tone, obviously similar range, but he had a little bit more of that openness. And so it was less of, um, yeah, that echoey sort of reverb effect. Like it had a little bit more of that true chord tone and less of like the growl. It's very cool how he's, how he's kind of going back and forth between the two. It's just, it's almost, okay, I talk a lot about registers, obviously, chest, mix, head, I feel like I always go through, you know, the process of like explaining the the muscles involved when it comes to like chest voice versus head voice and which one's doing more work. I feel like it's almost kind of the same, just a completely different um, 
part of your anatomy in this case where he's playing around with like how much of his true chords and how much of his false chords are being utilized and I just I think it's so cool And then like no rasp at all at the end. Sorry, one more time. Now I have to look up what happened. Un momento. Okay, so for inquiring minds, yes, he was allowed on the show, even though that coach already had a full team. So I won't spoil any more about like his progress throughout the show, but he was let on. Um, what a very cool voice. I can see why some people drew parallels between him and David Draymond just because he did Disturb's cover of The Sound of Silence, but vocally, very two distinct, unique artists for sure. Um, I am, yes, I'm very curious. I mean, this was three years ago, so I'm very curious to see how he's grown and developed and what he does with his voice because that, I mean, I will just forever and always be astounded by, you know, any sort of false chord production because I, I don't do it. I, I never learned. And so hearing it and just all the different textures you can create, um, but also, um, you know, if you think about our vocal chords, <laughs> um, Genetically, you know, the size and shape of your chords in conjunction with, you know, so many other things, you know, how resonance is utilized in your body, um, that is what determines just your sound, your tone. And so in the same way, I think it's very cool to hear the differences um, in tone. I think I can use that word safely, um, but it, like false chord tone um between different artists I hope that made sense I feel like it's just it's such a unique sound and it's unique and very special from one artist to the next so this was a treat um that is it for today now for those of you who are curious about our final Australian artist this week I will give you a hint it's actually a band so stay tuned for that but as always, thank you for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.